I'm sure all of us can relate to the situation. You get that text from your friend asking if you want to go out, meet up for brunch, have a fun weekend, but you're just so comfy in bed that the thought of getting ready just sounds awful. So this tutorial is for those kind of days or weekends. I'm going to show you guys how to get ready really quickly and it's also a fall inspired look. So if you're interested and want to learn how to put together a makeup look in under 10 minutes, keep on watching. The only tools you're going to be needing in order to complete this look include your hands, an eye brush, and a face brush. So let's get started. I'm going to start by applying the NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer in the shade Gronland all over my face using my fingers. This product is great because it has an SPF 30, so it's going to give you your sun protection, your moisture, and it's also going to give you a really nice medium coverage. Unfortunately, I haven't found a great drugstore option for a tinted moisturizer, but another one that I absolutely love is the one from Laura Mercier. The reason I decided to go with a tinted moisturizer versus a foundation is because I find them really easy to work with. They don't take a lot of effort to blend out and you can apply them easily with your fingers. Next, I'm going to use the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Honey around my eyes to just brighten and conceal any dark circles. The reason I'm using the shade Honey is because it does have a light salmon color to it, so it's going to help to correct and conceal all at the same time. And I'm just using my finger to pat the concealer into the skin and blend it out. I'm also going to take a little bit around my nose to conceal any of that redness. Using Smith Brush 112, my favorite multitasking face brush, I'm going to dust some powder in the areas where I applied concealer and anywhere where I don't want to be shiny. The powder I'm using is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Light Plus. I specifically chose this brush because you can use it to set your face with powder, highlight, bronze, blush, you name it. It definitely is a multitasking brush. Coffee break. Now we can keep going. Before going into eyes, I'm going to fill in my brows using the Anastasia Brow Powder Duo in chocolate and Dellium Tools brush number 735. For the eyes, pick out your favorite eyeshadow. It doesn't matter if it's light, if it's dark, just a shadow that is really complementary to your eye color or skin tone and one that you really love. I'm going to be using Anastasia's Fawn eyeshadow. I think it's just the perfect shade of brown. It's almost the same shade as a contouring powder. And like the face brush, you want an eye brush that's multitasking. I'm going to be using the Smith 256 brush. And the reason I chose this brush is because of its unique shape. This brush is flat so you can easily pack shadow onto the lid. It's tapered, which means it comes to a nice little point, which allows you to fit into the corners and crevices of your eye. And it's also large enough that you can blend out shadow. First, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create more of a defined eye by just applying the shadow to the crease, and then I'm going to show you how to turn it into a smoky eye for those of you who like more of a smoky eye on your lazy days. So I'm going to pick a little bit of that powder and first apply it to my crease and blend it out. You're also going to use the tip of that brush to apply some of that shadow to your lower lash line. And here you have a classic eye, where the crease is really defined and the lid is really light. I will still do a smoky eye on a lazy day, so I'm going to take that same brush and just pack that shadow onto the lid. And now you have a smoky eye. To add a little drama to the eyes, I'm going to coat them in Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. This mascara will definitely give you the look of a false lash. It's perfect for every day, but especially when you don't feel like wearing false lashes.
And of course, I'm going to be setting my brows in place using the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. Now that that mascara has dried, to give the eyes a little more definition, I'm going to be tight lining using Ico's Making Eyes Gel Liner in Pitch Black. At this point, you're literally two minutes away from being done. I'm going to be using the amazing new Anastasia Illuminator in So Hollywood to bring a little life into the skin, and I'm going to do that using the exact same multitasking face brush, the Smith 112. And I'm going to apply it to the high points of my face to just bring a little more life into the skin. You're going to be using that same brush for bronzing and contouring, or as I now like to call it, bronzering. I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion in shade 20M. I'm also going to be applying this bronzer to my cheeks instead of blush. You can grab a blush if you'd like, but again, we're trying to cut down on the amount of steps that we need to complete this look. To be a little more detailed when bronzering the nose, just pinch the brush on its side to create more of a fan shape, and then go ahead and apply that powder to the sides of the nose. For a lip that is quick and effortless, I love using a gloss that is full coverage. I'm going to be using Anastasia's lip gloss in the shade Undressed. The reason I chose this lip color is because it doesn't require a lip liner, you don't have to be careful when applying it, and it just looks like the perfect nude lip. Oops, I almost forgot to apply mascara to the lower lashes, so I'm just going to go ahead and grab my Better Than Sex mascara and apply a nice little coat to my lower lashes. and you're done. Because this makeup look was so quick, you probably have a few extra minutes to spare, and in that case, I'm gonna amp up the look with a bolder lip. I'm gonna be using the NYX Simply Vamp Lip Cream in the shade Enamored. I chose this product because it's essentially a lip liner and lip color in one, so it cuts down on the number of products that you're gonna be using and the number of products that you have to take with you for a touch-up. And now you have a fall-inspired look. And that's it. In just under 10 minutes, you're all set and ready to head out the door. Spray some dry shampoo in that dirty hair. I'm using Not Your Mother's Clean Freak Refreshing Dry Shampoo and call it a day. If you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so I see you in the next one. Bye guys. Lazy dog. Are you falling asleep? Let's go get a treat. Come on, let's go.